Ladies and gentlemen, I am what one could call a bad Asian. Not in the traditional sense, no, I'm quite harmless really. But I think there are two main factors that differentiate teenage Asian girls and everybody else. And those two factors are boys and grades. Now, when I walk down the street, in my father's eyes, all boys in close proximity of me have somehow become my boyfriend. Yet to be very honest, ladies and gentlemen, I could not maintain a relationship because every brown person in the world is related to one another. So I would be ratted out before I could say the word boyfriend. Now, one of my best friends actually happens to be a guy and I don't see him a lot. So sometimes I FaceTime him just to keep in touch. Yet if my father was to walk into one of these conversations, there would be a slight kerfuffle at the end of the line. A blonde wig would slip on, the voice would become an octave higher, which isn't hard in this case because he hasn't broken it yet. And George would somehow become Georgina. But my dad, he's a smart man, ladies and gentlemen, he knows what's going on. He will walk in, all powerful as fathers are, and say, Beta, Beta, who are you talking to? <laughs> Beta, is that a boy? Because you know you're not about the B. You're about the A's and the A stars only. <laughs> so if that is a boy, you put your phone down and come spend time with some family, okay? And then he'll leave the room and there'll be a hush. Is it safe to come out yet? And the answer to that, ladies and gentlemen, is always no. But this brings me on to my next point quite swiftly, actually. Grades. Now, usually, if you stay close to the very beginning of the alphabet, you can get by quite easily in an Asian community. However, if you're like me, who sometimes scrapes a pass at subjects that Asians should be good at, aka maths, it doesn't go down so well. C. Why is there a C in the place where the A should be, huh? <laughs> what does C even stand for? Capable. It's <laughs> literally just telling me how capable I am in life. Capable, huh? You think I brought you up with my own two hands, you could go around being capable? <laughs> and this lecture will literally take an hour long. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I could stand here and mock my culture all day, and you could sit there and all agree with me. But at the end of the day, it is my culture, and I have grown up believing that I should be like the people I surround myself with. But that's not the case. Ladies and gentlemen, your culture is your identity, and you should never let anyone take that away from you. Thank you. Woo!